Hello everyone, this is Mr. Wright at another tutorial. Today's tutorial we are going to calculate the range, the median and the mean using Excel. So you should have your Excel spreadsheet open and you should have already typed in your data set. I've already done that here for so I have 20 numbers and I've typed my data set in into any order there into the first column you should have 100 numbers typed in let's go and find now the maximum and minimum values and then the range the spread of this data set to do that first we need to sort our data set into ascending order. You remember ascending order is smallest to biggest. So we're going to highlight the first square of our data set and then we're going to go up to the top here and you can see data. Then we're going to move over to the right where it says sort and we've got two options. This option is largest to smallest, whereas this la option is smallest to largest. I think that's the one we want because we want to do it in ascending order. And it's simple, simple as clicking that button. You can now see over here that my numbers have been sorted for me from smallest to largest in ascending order. So let's work out the minimum or the smallest number or the smallest value the smallest value is going to be at the top here and it's already highlighted here let's actually make it a color so I'm going to go home and come over here to fill color and I'm going to choose a color what color will I choose let's choose orange now because my numbers are in ascending order smallest to biggest minimum to maximum my maximum number is down here and I'm going to highlight that 189 so let's type that in my minimum number is or my minimum value is 153 and my maximum number is 189 now let's look at how to calculate the range you would remember that the range is the maximum or the biggest value minus the minimum the smallest value so you could get your calculator now and you could try it on your calculator or you could use Excel to calculate that for you the way we do that is we type in equals well first of all we highlight the cell that we want the answer to be in and then we type in equals and we type in our sum our, <coughs> our problem and our maximum num value is 189 we're going to subtract our minimum value which is 153 and then we're going to push enter so our range for this data set is 36 which is 189 the maximum minus 153 the minimum let's highlight that what color will I go this time let's go yellow so our range, we found the range, and that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Let's move on to the median. The median. Remember, the median is, is the middle number. After we've arranged them in ascending order, it's the middle number. Then we type in median m e d i a n and open brackets then we have to choose the data that we want to find the median so we go to the top of our set highlight it and then drag to the end of our data set then we need to go back over here and we need to close our brackets and press enter and the median for this set of data is 
4.5. Remember the median is the middle number of your data set after it's sorted into ascending order. Okay, so we've done range, we've done median. <clears throat> Next is mean. Now, another name for mean is average, you know that. So we're going to use Excel to help us calculate out the average. Again, highlight the square or the cell you want to, you want the answer to be in. Type in equals. Then we are going to type in average, A-V-E-R-A-G-G-E. -E. We're going to open our brackets. Then we're going to select the, the data that we want to average. So we come across here, highlight the first one, and then drag to the last one. Remember to go over and close the brackets then push enter. So the mean of this set of data is 167.65. Let's highlight that. I'm going to go blue. You would remember that the mean is, if you did it manually, is that you would add up all of the values that I have and you would divide it by the number of values you have. So if we did this manually, we would add up all of these numbers and then we would divide it by, that's right, 20. It's much easier on the Excel. So there you go. We calculated the range, median and mean. Good luck when you try it yourself.